Doing Reaper 10? Oh god. Reaper 10. Crush. Grim and Baird, everybody. I'm excited to get my feet wet. I haven't played Reaper 10 in a long time, and I also haven't played this character in a while. It's scary to know that you're the character with the least amount of health. <laughs> Somebody just sent me a tell, you've got to be joking, right? That's a joke, LFM. <laughs> <laughs> What'd it say? Just Reaper 10. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a joke for them, man. It's a joke for them. Very really happy that we're going, actually going pretty good. Okay, what do I need? I think I need good damage, because I don't do good damage. So, good fang. I gotta turn on improved power attack. I gotta remember how to play my character. Mm. How do I play this character? The answer is let Templar go in first. Cast 20 minute shield spell so you don't instantly die to magic missiles. That's how we do it. Get past life, so you have more hit points. This is how you do it. So my effective strategy is I'm going to wait I'm for temp. Grab and then do with that first. Always wait for temp and then uh, and then go in afterwards. This is a do not rush sort of thing. You moved. Okay. And then you just dire charge people and kill them. I should try and, uh, <clears throat> turn on Master's Blitz. I, like, don't remember how to play some. I'm, I'm learning it. I'm relearning it real quick. Doing all right. It's the red names where it's going to become a problem. Anyway, as long as I get my sneak attack off, I can pretty much one-shot people, which is the important thing. I have uh, Jaws of Winter, which allows it so that when I land a sneak attack, uh, it freezes the target, so I get, they become helpless, which is really, really good. I don't think I can freeze Reapers though, which is unfortunate. Doing alright. Again, always wait for Templars to go in first. I do not do the shit if he's not in front of me. That would be terrifying. No freezes, that's exciting. get some decent crits, but they're not as good as they probably need to be. We got a we got a little boss over here, so he should go down pretty easy. Oh, he has a 360 attack. That's my that's my issue. He's held, so it's not gonna be that bad. Oh man, when this guy's not not held. Man, I just realized, when you're playing on Reaper 10, it's like your damage as though you're doing it in Heroic, basically. With epic level hit points. Just, but just being patient. 4,332 Reaper XP. Oh man, do I have a potion or something I can use to get more Reaper XP? I don't know. I do. I have a 6 hour experience elixir. Eh, let's just use that, why not? No! Why'd you do that? You got it. Now you got it. Told me it was already open. 
<laughs> They're fighting over bells. This is amazing. And very patiently. I'm surprised this tank is able to stay alive. I'm watching around the corner. Go over here. Wait for the first wave of spells to go out. And then, boom, snow slide my way through. Alright. like how the clean the kills are. That's where it gets real. Real messy. We'll be fine. Yeah, it's all good to lie back into the trap. That's what I did meet the last. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and not deal with that trap at all. Reaper from the other side coming. That means the second group's coming. Must kill bad guys with damages. Oh, I got nothing with that snow slide. I'm just going to put on fire shield cold. That's my own fault. Doom! Oh god. Oh jeez. Fight every time. Whoa, Reaper. Oh, God. Nice, guys. Nope. Oh, God. Incorporeal. Holy moly. There's a plague down here, too. Damn it. Oh, my God. Nope. Leave me alone. Oh. I can't freeze them is the problem. I can confuse them. I confuse them. They're hitting each other. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I got two seconds. I'm coming. Okay. I'm just hiding right now. They don't know I'm here. Oh. No, they know. Oh, almost got him. Oh my god. That minute. My god. You're preparing to tear your Astero Ranger into a monk, and you've been farming monk items. Any items off the top of your head that would be worth me leveling the process? Spell, you keep healing them, man. Um, what would be a good item to get on your monk? Hmm. That new Wisdom Helmet is really, really good. The um comes from the book quest, the new um or the new quest with the speech with the guy with the speech. Um, and it gives it's level six. It gives four Wisdom. Eight insightful mis physical or sheltering and five quality physical sh or quality sheltering. It's really, really good. That one's really good. I recommend that a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I'm so focused on the combat. I was not focused on the healing, like anybody not preventing people from dying. So that was my bad. I could have been more focused there. Oh yeah, I've got to stand. Sorry, I forgot to stand in the pile. It's dog pile. Gotta remember to keep my buffs up as well. Freeze! My freeze works, it's really nice. But I need to get a, um, a save 25. I 100% need to get some better items when it comes to um, my strength. I'm gonna get those, I'm gonna get strength goggles. Oh, the insightful strength goggles. And 
guy's dead. That guy's dead. Yeah, now we got that death out of the way, things go much better. Yeah, that's usually the one of the night. Okay, we're doing okay. One, one wipe. Oh, we can re recover it. We recovered. It's all good. All good. Got a stoned famine here. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta put my belt back on. Put my belt off. Woo! Oh, I'm enraged. I can't cast spells while raging. Wait, yes, I can. Oh, druidic magic while raging. Oh. Yeah, so that was good. Um, the wraps, Scraps of Enlightenment from the Devil's... No, it's not Devil's Details. I can't remember. The Scraps of Enlightenment are really good. I'd recommend getting that. I guess... I don't want to wait for that bear. I saw that. Two sucks. Uh, so yeah, Scraps of Enlightenment are really good. Um, the Quicksilver Cassock is really, really good. I'm always watching the back because there's guys that come from the back if they aggro around the corner. Oh, Fear Reaper. The Monk Ring from Heroic Ravenloft. Yep, yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, Mist would be the guy to know for Monk items to farm. Stuff that you want to use every level. He just knows. Shrine real quick. I got no stuff left. Oh. Can I shrine first? Cause that guy might have been like, oh, is Yellow Fam a joke? But this quest ain't no joke. I got Please lots of these. Um, potion of prowess. Oh. Oh. I got my shield on. Yeah, I do. I put it on shield. <laughs> Force field created by the spell reduces grazing hits by 10% as if it were a small shield. I think those shields reduce grazing hit damage. Hmm. Again, it's for this area, use fire shield cold. I did. Fire damage. Gave everybody it. Right. Here comes the next group reapers bringing them in. I keep on targeting the frogs. <laughs> And that is why we put on cold shield, fire shield, cold. Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> no! 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 That guy wants to melee me. He still does. But now he's tripped, and now he's gonna die. I got piece of shit. Guy wanted to melee me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably wait for him to cast divine wrath and then uh, head on to him. But the waiting for the divine wrath is gonna be essential to this process. The, uh, 
he's not going to throw anything, the Divine Wrath or anything, I'll have him. I step away and everything comes on me and you guys are fine to go down. Oh, so I can just straight up melee him? As soon as I get his aggro. Quick Silver Cassock, man. It's the best one. Okay. I have evasion and reflex saves are high enough, so I shouldn't fail. I mean, I still might, but I shouldn't fail. He's dead. Fuck you. Torkish Rage. Get those crits. Does this guy summon more shrubs, or is that all of them? Yeah, one more round. Three? Three rounds, sir? I think three rounds. You know, I've always done this quest so fast, I have no idea. It's really funny, the little things you start to notice once you actually do the quest on a different setting. There's the next one. Oh right, you can't activate rage while you have the rage up. I just forget how this character works. Mm. Why did oh, I go for it? My blade. I know, I went for the shrubbery, it was a bad idea. On the plus side, this is the highest minus I've ever been. <laughs> to be sure. Minus 4,889. <sighs> yeah, it was stupid of me. Well, that's okay. It's a learning experience, you know? You make those little mistakes, because then it means that you're not going to make the bigger mistakes. That's I got hit doing. in uh, Tavern Brawl. What were we doing? Reaper 9 for 16k. What's that force that you mean? Same as that horse one he does here. I just recast my buffs. Holy moly. This guy does not die when I'm not there. Oh, I shouldn't have died. Hmm. 
got 6,018 on that one. I got 8,526. Not bad. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, 15,000. Holy smokes. Alright. Oh, one down. Oh, memoirs. Oh, Wars isn't that bad. It's just they're just named. Not too bad. Memoirs, it's the red name that takes forever. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I noticed the difference between how fast I was dying when I was alive versus when I was dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Magnus has a bit of dps but he's mostly used to kill and all the others are daunts and stuff you're kind of like the only real dps in here we don't tell anybody i mean that's how i feel when i do every quest I don't think I need good damage here, so I'm just gonna have to use Magic Fang. Don't be shy. Come in, come in. I want to get all the buffs. Mm, buffies, buffies, buffies. I feel powerful. Wait, I've never done this quest? Whoa, that's awesome. Really? Good. That's going to be a big bonus. Wow, that should be a nice paycheck. Yeah, I'm surprised. The first step to find the hero of this story. A true upstanding citizen. A poor girl. She is a master of disguise. Snow slide. I love snow slide. It's so much fun. I should play more Wolf Druid. I haven't, I haven't done a Wolf Druid life on my main. I really should. Wolf Druid is so cool. Good puppy. I think we should give it oh, a name. Oh, I just noticed I had my dance belt on for dancing stream. Go right over there. <laughs> Said that I instantly looked. <laughs> I do not want it. Oh, why did I stand in front of you? <sighs> Almost lived too. Oh man. One shot. That's all it takes. One shot. Cause my physical resistance rating is low. Uh, we gotta get him an extra ten percent now. Get the rebuild. Got these two in the hall here. Oh, moly. That was scary. Man. Terrifying. Just one stray shot. Just boom. Done. The other guy's down. And raisable. Merci. Should take them lost souls before they disappear. Must buff self. I don't want to die. Well, I'll get girl. You got him already. I'm just worried that this guy's gonna do some kind of weird 360 attack and I'm gonna die. If I play smarter, this is the only monster in the quest that can kill me, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I will get one shot if this thing actually gets me. I only have 160 physical resistance rating right now. Probably some ways I can improve that, but yeah, it's fine. If I'm my blitz going, this would be rad. Just slightly more damage. Okay, as you can see, there's a quite a bit of distance between me and the actual target, and the reason is because this guy does have some like AoE even to the back. So you want to attack at absolute max range so he doesn't get you. If you're wondering why you die sometimes in this quest, that's probably why. A lot of health though. Yeah, like I said, the biggest ones is like Scraps of Enlightenment are really good. Um, usually a named robe are good. Ravenloft robe is good. Um, Quicksilver Cassock. Black Dragon Scale. The re reason why Quicksilver Cassock is really nice is because it is level 8 and it gives you 25% striding and um, a 10% attack speed. Which is just nice. Oh my god, my action boost. It's so much health. <laughs> wow, I just noticed Mist is watching the stream, but not playing the game. Interesting. Instead, Strum has to be doing it. I don't know what to say to that, so I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That moment when you're watching a stream, and then <laughs> someone, uh, someone starts talking about you and you can't react. One thing you notice is I'm spacing out the usage of my attacks. I'm waiting until I get um, my Essence of the Shrike, which gives me temporary mana. I'm waiting until that procs before I use my attacks. And the reason why you do that is because you don't want to run out of mana. <laughs> for me to start. So this is probably going to be the longest boss just because he's got oh, the AoE. He's using the old tablet excuse. Yeah. Hmm? Missed. He's using Missed. the old tablet excuse. Yeah, yeah. Holy moly. Don't think we can't look at the 50 inch TV and see missed writing things. Don't tell Storm we put him on a 50 inch TV. Go to his head. I mean, that wouldn't be the first time someone told me I was like 50 inches. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, dear. I need to uh, find glasses are your, amazing. <laughs> I thought they were talking about your ego, maybe. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Almost there. Holy moly. Nice. 
Yeah. One thing I want to do with this quest that we do is subversion. That's going to be a blast. One thing I want to do with this quest or this character is get over 200 physical resistance rating. I just don't know how to do that. Need to do a bit of re gear shuffling. Oh, nice. Freeze. Then hide here. I I am hiding like crazy. Be real careful. I do not want to get hit by a stray arrow. All four guys on the left are champs, so watch stray arrows. Deleted. Good. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Magnus is over there like like a crazy person. I'm not doing that. That is that is beyond what I'm doing. Careful. Edge around corners. And I'm at least expecting. Get him. That's how I play. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, one shot. Like, I live. Fear of her. Hit in the wall, beautiful. But you gotta react fast, because if I get hit by like one thing, I'm dead. So I gotta be very, very, very careful. The problem with vampiric stone dust hand wraps is that they have vampirism, and vampirism. Oh, pff, shit. I just ran away so I wouldn't die. <laughs> Apparently I've only got one kill, which is hilarious. I really thought I'd have more than one, but yeah, it's fine. My job is not to do not to get kills anyway. Smash, smash. My job is to get to um, one shots. That's also why I'm hiding down here. I don't want to die. I'm gonna wait till other people have aggro. If anything, I should probably just stay in stealth mode. Just sneak. That way, nothing will aggro onto me. And then once uh, once the fighting starts, then go for it. Freeze, bitch. Goodbye. It's a reaper at the top of the stairs. Nice. I just want to make sure I am attacking the stuff, though, because I want to get make sure I'm keeping my uh, blitz stacks up. I do not want blitz to run out. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally comfortable just wailing on these guys. Get those blitz stacks. And I have blitz again, so worst case scenario, if I lose my blitz, I can always get it back. If you're wondering what the build, in fact, that I'm playing, it's a half-orc druid, pure druid. Strength is not that high. I wish it was higher, but it's just not. I didn't take any strength of the tree. I could probably do some rerouting to make this build better, but... Oh, God. That's charmed. Ooh. Oh, my God! They hit each other for 10k. Disgusting. Watching watching one guy slam another guy for 10k is just terrifying. I'll grab this bunch and then the next one. Okay. 
Oh god. Freeze. Piece of shit. The friggin' light bearer's got death death block, so I gotta take it down. Basically, if it can't be insta killed, that's my job. This one for sure cannot be insta killed, so. Okay, freeze him, and then kill him. Doesn't have as much health though. Even like 40k She's lives. Woo! Scary man, scary. Yeah, so of the decisions I'm making, like I said, I'm, I'm skirting to the outside, I'm trying to stay away. If I run into a situation where I'm actually facing down a monster one-on-one, -on -one, there's a good chance I'm going to die. Um, just because of the amount of monster damage that these monsters do. Um, I can take one hit on Reaper 10, and that's it. Two hits, and I'm gone. So I always want to make sure I'm on the outside of a fight. I always want to make sure I am not the target of anybody's aggression. If I happen to be the target of anybody's aggression, that's where comes in the best spe spell that druids actually get, which is takedown. If you don't use takedown that often when you play as wolf druid, I highly recommend you change up that mindset. Takedown is very powerful because um, it is a strength check. It says reflex. That's not true. It's a strength check. So monsters is trip versus sorry, balance DC check um, at the bottom there. So monsters don't have a lot of balance, which means this basically always works. Um, it also works on Reapers, so you can make sure you get Reapers out of your face um, and removing them pretty much instantaneously from fights. So you, whenever you have the option, always use Takedown if a monster is going after you. You'll pretty much get it every time. It also works on monsters that are traditionally immune to knockdowns. So, again, very powerful effect. Um, that's why if I do run into a situation where I see a monster running at me, or you'll notice my first action combat is almost exclusively Takedown, and there's, that's the reason for that. If that doesn't work, then I go for, use Go for the Kill. Um, as the follow-up, go for the kill is the uh, sort of pseudo charge that you get as druid. And this effect here um, has critical threat range and multiplier, so you notice me just using it because it's pretty much a guarantee. It's almost like a guaranteed crit, um, but it also gives you a, a small melee power buff once you have it active, um, as well as uh, knocking down targets if they're susceptible to knockdowns. was going to be his usual barbarian, so I'm just a wizard. I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to wait for go for the kill. If you do it at range, you get double melee power. So I'm going to go this way and then go for the kill back in. And it's going to give me double the melee power, so now I get 30. And with that extra melee power, I'm going to use it to hit some people. I'm at what, 293 with prowess? Not bad. Because there's actually a cast time on um, Orcish Rage, I use the cast time of Orcish Rage to back up so I can get the extra melee power. It brings me up to 328 is the most melee power I could give on this character at the moment. I feel like it's some other items or different build options. You're just going to notice me not using my instant crit. The reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm going to back up, get the melee power, get the double strike, and then use the instant crit to get more damage out of it. you got to juice it. you got to squeeze. you got to squeeze every little bit out of it. All the damages, man. It's all about how you play your character. And then also something, something, something items. Like I should be raging and I wasn't. Because my rage rent just ran off. I'm completely at action boosts. I could definitely make use of those uh, insightful strength goggles because they give bonus action boosts. So I definitely got to get myself some of those. I don't think trying to get the extra melee power is actually worth it on the damage front, but we'll see. Because I lose damage by not attacking. Just standing here attacking, I gain a lot more damage. 
Oh, I'd have to do some more math. Figure that one out. Well, Strim, do you know what uh, new helmet is the one that changes the mask color depending on what you are? What? You know the uh, pink colored goggles that they gave out and the goggles change color depending on your outfit? Yeah. There's a mask that's doing that, a helmet. No, I didn't know out that. Of the new, out of the new stuff, I didn't know which one it was. Well, all the helmets come out of the, um... Low ones. We pulled two yesterday, but neither of them did. Got the strength and wisdom. Oh, we almost got him. We almost got Lucy Lawful. She's a tough cookie to crack. I'm just waiting for my dog tattoos, man. Yeah. And repretend. So, by beating this quest on Reaper 10, Reaper 10, we're going to get a ton of Reaper XP, because apparently I haven't done this, so that's hilarious. Um, and then also, we've got a 43% chance of dropping loot. So, oh my god, boys. This is why meeting strangers is so interesting. Uh, 5,007. 13,932. Oh, there's a whole TR argument. First on bonus. <laughs> I'm just blown away that I hadn't done this quest. I thought I did all the quests, but apparently I hadn't done this one. Kind of weird. I got a miss. Subversion. Unfortunately, you can't use Snow Slide in town anymore. So, which makes me sad. Woo! This is good. We're two down. Time to go for some subversion. This one doesn't. I feel like it wouldn't be that tough because. Oh, it's just the end fight. Oh, and the Titans. Oh my god, the Titans. Oh god, the Titans. They can be imploded instantly. Okay, I'll let you guys do that. I can't cast implode. Repair? Oh, don't worry about it. My weapon's not broken. I don't know if my weapon's broken. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Weapon doesn't break. Holy, Holy moly. Bark. Woof. Ruff. Ruff. Dogs need to make more dog noises. I guess they make wolf noises because they're like, rah, 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 and they growl. They need to make more like dog noises. There's shrines in this quest, so I can use some more spells and effects. Yeah. Oh yeah. The other problem is, there's like no vertigo items in the game, so I had to use my five, the five rings for vertigo. So. In accuracy, so it works out for this character. I had to craft this item just to make this work. Get vertigo in here. Because you have to get vertigo and you have to get stunning, and it's just like, oh, nightmare. My issue with replacing my goggles with those new goggles is I lose the Raven Loft set. And I have to get it somehow, and I don't know how I would get it back. Yep. 
I'm gonna let these guys take care of this. Ooh, ram chest. Kill this guy. I just like the fact that I get the knockdown. They can't really do anything about it. I mean, they can get back up sometimes. I don't have a hundred percent fortification penetration, so I can't sneak attack these guys. Sneak attack is really weird in how it sort of works for some things. Like you can critically hit stuff, but you can't sneak attack unless you have a hundred percent fortification penetration. I need somebody to dump a target's fortification. Ooh, make my save. I wonder how much damage that does when I don't make my save. Oh, a lot apparently. Oh, no, 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 I'm not about this life. No, no. <laughs> you lie down. Lie down. There we go. Holy moly, that was terrifying. Alright, if this guy frost lances me, I'm dead. So. But it's okay, because he's frozen. He's not frozen. Okay, because he's knocked down. Not knocked down. Okay, because he's dead. Some magical field. Oh, we got two ram chests? I didn't see the second one. Okay, same thing in this next room. Let Temp go first. Cast Good Fang. Good boy. We're going to use this corner so we can observe the mayhem and carnage. I don't really want to go over there. I really, okay. really, really don't. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do some, some AOE from the outside. This makes me really nervous. I can kill some stuff. Everything looks like it's held. If something breaks, I could die. So I'm really, really careful. Oh, yeah. It seems like it's working real well. Stuff's gonna spawn once you're back there. Back that way. I do it myself. I was gonna pick the lock, but I don't know what happened. I used to have an intimidate item, but it looks like I don't have one. Somebody getting Yeah, I was grabbing. I got one. Oh you got one? Okay. I got the other. Yeah.
Oh my god, all those remnants, I didn't even see them. I didn't even see any of those remnants on the floor, that's hilarious. While Temp grabs aggro, and everything is exploding, I'm gonna pick up all the remnants. This is why you wait. Dixon guy dies. Plane born with death ward. It's gonna die. Orange Reaper is gonna die. Yeah, Temp's tank looks like it's working out real well. Dead. The trick is to hide. You just hide. Got it. We can go to this Orthon. Good gun. That my job is to just kill what I'm supposed to kill. Nope. Leave me alone. Fuck you. Everybody's frozen. Because. After this, I'm gonna go make an intimidate item. I thought I had one. Apparently, I do not. Okay. okay he's dead. I pretty much am focusing mostly on like monsters that are immune to death effects. And then after that, going after other stuff. Death effect immune monsters first. Did I die yet? Oh, I haven't died yet. Nice. Some of these pulls can get real bad real fast. Okay, that guy's dead. Because if we double pull here, this can get really bad. Oh, what got me? I don't even know. Too, right, too close. Polar Ray. Oh, man. 2,500 damage Polar Ray. I'm a Frost Wolf. I'm supposed to be immune to cold. Oh, yeah. No, wait. I didn't take that node. <laughs> I did not take cold absorption. I did not deem it necessary. Took uh, Prey on the Weak, though. Helpless damage. If this character had more racial enhancement points, this would be better. Because I would uh, have, um, I'd have Orcish Weapon Training, plus so an extra plus two to hit damage. I'd have Brutality for 20% additional damage to helpless opponents. And I'd have more strength. Apparently I am also bashing lock. It's pretty cool. Oh! Because it's all about the, that fine positioning. I don't know how I ate that Polar Ray. I don't know who that was intended for. It wasn't intended for me. I was not supposed to be the guy eating that Polar Ray. But I was pretty hungry, and, you know, I'm an ice wolf, so I gotta eat something cold. And I'm raisable. Yeah. Got rid of your death penalty. Thank you. Best artificer ever. We wait. Sneak up. Wait. Orthons have AoE, so you gotta be careful. Also, arch when the archers back up, you always gotta make sure you're paying attention. Oh. Oh. Carnage Reaper is also frontal AoE. I'm very conscious of which targets have area of effect attacks and where they are pointing. My weapon is so cruel. Right, we'll if I had hands, I'd do it uh, myself. Guys, for you to the far end and come back. Carnage. And a 
smash these crates. I'm gonna die if I go over there. I'm gonna die if I don't even go over there. What the what the hell, man? Oh, that didn't work. Yes. Nothing died. Okay. We got another implosion going. No. Oh. They can shoot through walls. No. Oh. Oh, I didn't know they could shoot through walls. That is not how I intended this to go down. Yeah, this room is tough. This is a tough room. Yeah, usually an implosion gets it. Shadow marked, I don't know, but the soul, I mean, I'm on this yeah. You gotta be careful, because the, if the balls hit too close on the corner, they explode when they hit you in the rooms. Oh, Magnus is going for it. I usually get some all. And now I usually get some all, too. Here we go. All right, time to shrine. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, wall hacks. They're just cheaters, man. They just don't care. They're gonna get through that wall no matter what. They let no walls stand in their way. They will break down any wall. Okay, so I need Lawful to beat these guys. You are. Wait, why don't I have any spells? Oh, because I was casting them on temp. That's why. Hmm. Okay, man, you're just dying as much as me. This is the easiest part. Just killing killing this guy is gonna be no problem. We just gotta take it slow. We don't have the damage to be able to rip through him like instantly, so. Alright, you guys take care of the robot guy, I'll take Okay, I'm gonna bring him back to this section where the first spawn will be in and get He's, does he go to full melee? I hope he does not go to full melee. It looks like he's going to full melee. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh. I'm gonna explode when those spawn. So right about now, I'm gonna start activating my cooldowns. Because I'm going to instantaneously die when those things come. I snow slid out of there just in case. To the back side. Famine Reaper. Okay. Famine Reapers. Reap, Reapers. So the big Where did the Famine Reaper go? Is in the melee. That's why I just instantly left because. The if they didn't get all danced, or if they didn't get all held, um, I would have died in one hit. So I made the executive decision to not die, which is kind of important because my job is literally this: kill this guy, do lots of damage. Yeah. No, no. With some of the new items showing up, 
I might actually um, swap this character back to the Vanguard fighter, because the Vanguard was is really good at this, at just killing people. But I don't have the Kopesh yet, surprisingly. I have like all the other items, but I don't have the Kopesh. So until I get that Kopesh from that raid, I'm not going to do that. Go. Mark along. Um, so for those of you that are like on the forums and you're like, man, that the Vanguard guide obviously can't be good because of the Vanguard nerfs. No, it's still fine because it doesn't change your damage. It doesn't change the way your character plays in like these types of scenarios. In Reaper 10, the character still plays the same way. And so it's still fully functional in Reaper 10. It's in not Reaper 10 that your character changes. So if you do want to try and play a Reaper 10 viable character, the Van guide is a Reaper 10 viable build. Trust in spell, believe in spell. Nope. I don't do that. I am very, very, very nervous and very worried at all times. I don't want to die, man. Oh, all the Reapers. And this guy's dead. Alright, cool. And the boss is done going down. I don't know what he's immune to. I guess it's all my knockdowns. Hmm. Yeah. 6,544 Reaper XP. Not too bad. So we're able to do some quests on Reaper 10. Feels good. I haven't done Reaper 10s in like a while, so this, this is cool. But we got like a decently balanced party. Naturally, we were destined to succeed. That's in House Kenneth, right? The real question that you need to ask yourself is how many people will notice if you just ever so sneakily hit the guild ship? <clears throat> sneakily hit the guild ship. There we go. And it lags. And then you go and you dump your helmet in here and you just junked it. Shh, don't tell anybody. Chat, don't wrap me out. You go over here and you hit 34. And you craft a thing. Nope, you craft a thing. Nope, you craft a thing. You craft an intimidate shard. What'd you do? Then you craft an insightful intimidate shard. Go over to this. You type this in here. And you craft. Intimidate. Insightful intimidate helmet. You don't tell anybody. You just put it on the bar there. And then you go back to the quest and you say nothing. Nobody knows. It's all good. Nobody knows. Now some people are listening to the stream. But even they don't know. They don't know. No idea what's happening. I know it all. And then you just nonchalantly walk over to the quest. Done. Nothing happened. That's it. Nothing happened. Just a, just got lost in the marketplace. Couldn't find out where I was going. See, you made it. I'm not even the last person in. See, clearly everything's fine. Everything's good. 
Oh man, the group XP for on the Reaper Tens is real good, man. Uh oh yeah, there are more demons in here, so I gotta use Good Fang. I hate how I always use Good Fang. That sucks. So this is another place where I gotta be really careful. Carver and his copies are really dangerous. They do a lot of damage, they got dual wielding, and they have 360. So we gotta be really, really careful here. hide over here and we're gonna engage stealth now an effect that i actually have is this one here brother wolf which gives you plus three to hit and damage while your wolf is alive and within 40 meters difficult to use because your wolf is not often alive what i'm going to do is i'm going to summon the wolf and then the wolf is just going to stay on passive and he's going to follow me around Oh my god. Runs for the door while his copies turn and attack. Oh, that hit with one two thousand. That's going fast as well. Holy moly. That was terrifying. I feel like Magnus was here and he killed literally everything. Oh yeah, somebody earlier was asking about Falcon or Cleric. It's this guy. Three Paladin, 17 Cleric. He plays Falconer. Again, Falconer's really good in Reaper 10. <laughs> and that's about it. If it's not Reaper 10, Falconer's like whatever. But in Reaper 10, Falconer is like amazing. It's just one of those funny, weird consequences. Thank you. We oh, got yeah, double bonus points. I gotta buy some. I gotta buy some points. I will buy some points. What is this? Oh, the shield spell. Did I not cast shield? I did not. Am I raging? I am not. There we go, here we go. Kai, I'm in charge now. Buzz Kai. And my first order is deal with good weapons. Alright. Boop, freezy. And then I'm just gonna take care of the Reapers. This character's job is mostly to kill Reapers, if I'm being honest. Killing Reapers and red names. Let's just name this build the Reapers and Red Names character. An intriguing little bobble. Name the stream Reapers and Red Names. Eleven damage on Reaper Ten. He's. Wonder if that's per stack. I definitely want to get those new goggles, and I'll have to do some shifting to see how I can fix up my gear. I don't have insightful combat mastery, so. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Freeze. Everybody freezes. Hey, and that Reaper cops out of nowhere? Whenever something like that happens, any monsters with AoEs, so like those Orthons, they have those weird spin attacks and those explodey shots. You gotta be careful of those with the AoE. Like that. They just, they just jump out of nowhere on you. 
I can kill them, but if they find me first, I die. I'd be real careful. There are Reapers back here. Don't know where. Answer is always follow behind Temple. Where is it? Where's this Reaper? He's in here somewhere. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, wolf, wolf. All right. Well, I'd never lie about a mob being in here. I might lie about oh, we're fighting this? Okay. We're fighting this? All right, good. I'm going to stay out here. This is a terrifying place to be. This is why we stay out here. If any of Carver's copies come out for me, I'm gonna die, so. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Once I see the copies start to attack other people, then I know it's time to go in. Because these things will pretty much just one shot me. Boost to kill these guys. So don't go ahead of temp. Stay behind. Oh, I almost went around the corner just by the habit. Like rip around, go fight those guys. Most these guys are frozen. This isn't so bad. So there's going to be a spawn on the right and then also a spawn on the left. They will usually pull together. Is that all implosion that you're doing right there? Explosion, frog, spoiler being destruction. Everyone fall off their attack. Gotta be really careful because there's potentially more ads coming. So I want to go back off to this side to make sure I don't aggro anything else. And then go back in. Again, you notice me, you're going to notice me stealthing a lot. So I'm going in between these things. I'm just like, oh. Wolfie. Go along the, go along the ridges. Heal when you get the chance, and attack. Stealth. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not playing copyrighted music right now, and you might have noticed, and I'm not complaining about my music. Reason is because this is going to go on YouTube. So, when all is said and done, this will be going up on YouTube. So, if you missed, if you're missing some of tonight, and you're like, man, I'm not going to be able to see it, do not worry. Do not fret. This guy's gonna melee me, but he is stunned, so fuck him. Anyway, this is gonna be going up on YouTube, so you will be able to see it if you're missing it right now. Or if you're, like, missing it, or whatever. But if you're watching and it's already on YouTube because this is the future, then I am glad you're watching. Thank you for your support. Thank That's all I got. Anyways, just trying. Good idea. Get my rages and stuff back. What I need to do is I need to have like a visual cue for my rages because there's too many buffs on the top of my screen. I need to have like a thing here that says like, do you have rage going on the side? But I don't have a way to do that at the moment. There's no way to program that sort of stuff. Good fang. Good fang for good boys because my wolfie is a good boy. Fight the frog, because I'm hungry. Frog rage. Oh. You notice that you just saw Templar jump backwards there? The reason you jump backwards is because he is using an ability. Um, which one? I know I'm pulling up a screen here, but it's in here somewhere. I want to find it. He's using Meld into Shadow, or Meld into Darkness, which gives him 100% chance to dodge attacks for a short period of time. Um, so it's really powerful, it's pretty much one of the best tank effects you can get in the entire game, and it's one of the reasons why, like, tank builds are necessary, because taking specific tank stats and tank effects is what makes your tank successful, not having a lot of health. 
And also being played properly is a big deal. Somebody remnants. Oh, everything's already dead up here. Damn. Eh, whatever. Oof. I gotta get my loot stacks up. Bark, bark, bark. If you're not used to seeing Reaper 10 content and you're like, man, this is something I don't get to do, well, you might be able to if you just take some notes. I didn't take me that long to get this character going, for the record, for those of you wondering. Um, this is a first life character, or not first life, but I have a fighter, monk, paladin, and ranger past life, so I don't have any crazy past lives. Those are just the different builds I've played. You can play pure ranger on a first lifer and, and do this. Doesn't the strength go up to? 88? Yeah. I just need more Reaper points. Because if I had more Reaper points, I could take some of this other stuff. More melee power and stuff. More DCs, more strength. Goodbye. Holy smokes. Oh, oh, I got stuck behind the wall. I might have pulled something bad. Ah, that's why we're going to move back. I go to an extra reaper. Spell you dead. Terrifying. Ugh. Gotta be real careful. Yeah, that was my fault. Did he go over there? Yeah, he did. Nope, that's, that's that's the frontal AOE I was talking about, that spin attack. That's what I was trying to avoid. Alright, so that's the, the strength damage is an indicator that I need to recast my buffs. I have three buffs that I need to recast. No, I didn't get a kill. Makes me sad. Bad panda. And now we wait here. I wait here because if, if any of the monsters from the other side aggro, I can let people know. We got incoming. Because that's teamwork. Hey. No, I think we're good. Nope, there's no aggro. We're good. Get some more repeat points. I want to get to. It's going to come from both sides. Again, we wait back here, just in case. I'm gonna use my uh, thick skin, take less damage. Go back here and start working on these guys, archers. Get them the hell out of the way. You don't get up. That's not what you do. Oh, Templars is dead. It could be real, real bad. There's a tiger down the hall. These are both light bears. That's hilarious. Left. I don't have any knockdowns or anything. I have to hope I don't get shot. That's the tire. Okay. Then we're gonna go free some guys. Oh, what hit me? What hit me? Oh, I didn't even see it. Oh, this postulant. Oh, it was that one that I didn't kill. Damn it. Ugh. You should be playing in Tried American Archer build. It's enjoyable. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, man. What kills shrimp? Uh, I died to a uh, champ that I was taking down. I'm glad you're enjoying the Arcan Archer build. If you're wondering if your Arcan Archer build can do this, it does not. My, or not your Arcan Archer build. My Arcan Archer build does, can do this. My Arcan Archer build is not designed to do Reaper 10 content. So if you are going to do Reaper 10 content, I do recommend that you look for one of the Monk Archer builds. There's hybrids, they're really good, but um, Arcan Archer, my build is not designed for that, that's all. It's not bad, but it's just it's not designed for it. It doesn't have the damage, it doesn't have the different requirements. Okay. 
guy is so dead. I love this. Watch this. Hold. Got him. Raw damage. I can do some minor healing, but it's got a long, some long cooldowns. Is there anything in particular or Orin being dead, I should be able to pick up stuff. Break breakables and stuff. How um if I if I might ask, because I'm I'm just curious about like the metrics. How did you uh, how did you find the how did you find the build? Yeah, I'm gonna try in here. Because I'm very curious. Like, were you recommended it? Did you Google, like, new player guides for DDO and it came up? Because if I come up on Google, that's pretty cool. It means I know I've made it. I don't know if there's going to be a new tab for cosmetics. I do know that cloaks are coming to the game. So, yeah. I have no idea. I would love that, though, because I have a lot of cosmetics. I have a character named Cosmo that holds all my cosmetics. So I definitely feel the cosmetics. But I would love it if there was, like, a way to store your cosmetics. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh man, I screwed up again. Okay, one down. I'm pretty much just focusing my time on top or on the carvers that are immune to death effects. So ones that are immune to death effects gotta die first. So there's a range I can melee this guy without getting hit by his frontal, or his, his back will AoE. It looks like. So yeah, it looks like I can stand here. Holy smokes, it's terrible. Yep, and he holds all my cosmetics. It's just organized easier that way. I actually don't care about having a cosmetics tab. What I want is the shared storage to have tabs, like in Lord of the Rings Online. I just want to have blank tabs that I can rename. And organize. Oh no 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 no! Okay, when he starts repositioning, I gotta move. Be gentle. Because he has a spin attack that will one shot me, so I gotta be really careful. Copies. No. Daggers. Oh, oh, I'm moving back. I see those daggers coming for me, and I'm just like, get the fuck out of here. That was terrifying. Seeing all those guys just like right behind me. Fortunately still alive. Oh, I'm gonna need to repair Torn after this. <laughs> My great axe is breaking. 
I'm killing too many people. That's actually really funny. He literally said horrifying because he's breaking. <laughs> I guess my, my great axe doesn't, doesn't want to die. I don't see any other ads, I think we're okay. Oh, he's making copies. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Oh, I just. I should have died right there, but I didn't. And he's going down. All right. Dude, Magnus can eat a couple hits, so he can stand there. I can absolutely cannot. Gotta get rid of that stat damage. Not knock this guy down. Holy smokes. I can do a lot of things, but knocking those guys down is not something I can do. Yeah, if there was like a, a tab that you could organize your bank so I could have, I, I would buy 200 shared bank spaces if I could just organize it. So that way instead of having to scroll through every single page individually, I could just have tabs. So I could be like, okay, this tab is for like named gear and this tab is for XP gems and this tab is for whatever. And I would buy, I would buy 100 more spaces. But that's unfortunately not currently an option, so. The original card has crumpled to the ground. Ooh, 5,700. 7,772. Woo! Ah, oh, Reaper Tens. Those eyes, not me. That's a trap. It doesn't go anywhere. Ooh. That's a trap. You got me. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. Not sure which one it is. Alright. Man, dinner's a good idea. Overrated. Oh yeah, that's why I'm playing video games, but I'm waiting for them to sell those little pills you just take and boom something. Hydrates in your stomach. Oh. Oh, Demon Assault's the one with the waves, right? Yeah, it's the next one. It's the one beside you. That I was thinking of. You go left, you go right for the doors. Oh, the, the Devil's Details. Devil's Details. The game is like all choppy for some reason. Like chop, chop, chop. I don't know what's going on there. Just doesn't want to be consistent, man. But yeah, man. Random stream. I've been random streaming since like 4 o'clock. Although it doesn't say I haven't been streaming directly since 4 o'clock because my computer crashed at some point, which I gotta look into. Because that shouldn't happen at all. 
but uh yeah i don't know why just did i have apparently done these quests At some point, I gotta do White Plume Mountain. Is there any level 30 quests I haven't done? I think I've done all the quests on level 30 on Reaper. Because I've done, I've done pretty much every quest on Reaper 5 at least, except for the raids. I haven't done the raids on Reaper. Oh no, I've done the raids on Reaper, but not like Reaper like 5 or whatever. Oh, this character's also apparently never done Slave Lords, but that's not, that's not a real thing. I don't want to do Slave Lords. No more Slave Lords. Oh, we should get Xan. Oh, Slam Bits, I'm always going, man. We should, we should get Xan. We should do Slave Lords next. No, no. I didn't say that. <laughs> no, slave lords. No, slave lords. I really don't want that. That would be bad. Slave Lord's bad. Slave Lord's very bad. That guy's doing reproduce Slave Lords. You can have fun with that. Like, Slave Lords is fine, and it's a perfectly fine questline. I just did it a lot. I did way too much Slave Lords. And it gets to the point where, like, it kind of sort of numbs out your brain. I mean, you farm out your Slave Lord set, and then you're like, I can't do this anymore. The Templars has his legendary slave lord set, the Slaver's Endurance. That's a nice slave lord set. I'll tell you. Tell you what. Got there. We go. He's, he's got the 100% dodge. As you can see, did the backflip, and now you can see he's got this blur like a shadow. 100% dodge. Even works with heavy armor. Just ignores dodge cap. Oh my god! One thing was targeting me. Oh no! Minus nine. Live. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, team. Made it to minus nine and lived. That's what they're gonna write on my gravestone. Minus nine and lived. Bark, bark. Woof. The devils quarter their teeth in slaves here in the depths of their citadel. Oh, that guy got back up. Sad day. I don't know if that guy got back up so fast. No, nah, that was bad of me. It's okay. We got 38 seconds. I'm trying to think of how I can like optimize this build even more. There's just some pieces I'm still missing. Like I should probably be aiming for more strength. Like I should definitely be aiming for more strength, actually. That's a that's a true fact. Because I only have strength and quality strength. I don't have insightful strength, which I can get on my goggles. Okay, raisable. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I pounced me, I didn't get the cooldown. Holy moly. Oh 
was terrifying. I know I see the word terrifying a lot because I can't think of any other words because I'm uncreative and tired, but... The important thing is I recognize that. Coming slow. Things go down. Welcome to your doom. Right. Oh. More monster. And double reapers, two famine reapers. That's not good. I was about to say terrifying, but I didn't. I have aggro on this guy though. Better. He's gonna die. It's fine. And my favorite part about famine reapers is I have immunity to magic missile, except when I don't, which is currently. So it should be fine. Yeah, get taken down. Wait a second, my thread's on page two of Google? Damn it. I wanna come up. Barret's gate slides open, revealing a passage leading up into the heart of the devil's fortress. Yeah, I'm just really curious as to how people find my build. I know people reference it on Reddit. I know it's in the build repository on the forums. But I know people can find it. I know you can find it if you go below the stream. I don't know if people talk about it. I'm always curious. Um, it's like, did you know that because uh, I get metrics and stuff based on like my streams and everything, and it tells me where people watch my streams from. So the people that do watch my streams. And as it turns out that like 1% of my audience comes from msn.com. I don't think we're very organized. <laughs> I'm trying to gather them all up. Got them all running in a circle now. Let's go heal Magnus. He healed me, I healed him. Genius. We work together on this, man. Wait till we get the roll of 20, get the, the knockdown crit. No? Alright, well I guess we'll just kill this guy then. There it is. Damn, re- Ooh, bonus wisdom. Score. Alright, well we got the whole room now. That was done. Oh, I didn't get this.
Also, something important is nobody needs to know for how long I had my shield clicky belt on instead of the legendary braided cut cord. Also unimportant information. No one needs to know that either. Oh, hello. Wait for the first spells to go out. Do a bit of a snow slide through these guys. And kick some ass. Bark, bark, bite, bite, bite. There we go. Same thing as before. You just, you wait, you pause, you let the initial round of spells go out, and give them the old snow slide. Just around of spells and snow slide. I have evasion, and I can reliably not instantly die to magic. But it's just better to let the snow slide work its magic and to, and to wait it out. Yep. He is doing Artificer 13, Wizard 1, Paladin 6. And he's doing a fantastic job. Freeze. Um, there's a couple of reasons why the build works the way it does. So one is Artificer gets some of the best defensive passives in the game for whatever reason from Renegade Mastermaker. Two, Paladin gets really, really good saves. That's why you pick Paladin over Fighter, because you don't actually need the extra feats. As well as getting access to Lay on Hands for shenanigans. Um, the six levels of Paladin allows you to apply 20 points of your Charisma. And you have a lot of Charisma anyway, because you need to have Eye Intimidate to be able to tank, ta tank and taunt stuff. And the one level of Wizard is you can take Improved Mage Armor, and as well as an extra meta magic feat. The free meta magic feat is convenient for taking quickens. You don't have to try to fit it in somewhere else. Um, and then also the um, oh god, there's archers here. I gotta be real careful. Um, as well as getting yourself improved mage armor for ten percent additional armor class. Woo! Yeah, I ran away. I'm good. I'm good. Got most. Oh god, that was terrifying. Behind us. Oh shit. Oh, geez. No. Did you reborn? Uh, just let me know when you're raised. I'm still alive. What happened? Game like bros, and then like, oh my god! You pretend. I was straight up over here, and then I went over here, and then I died back here. Holy moly! Yeah, XP bonus on run Reaper Ten. That should be my stream title. Is Reaper Ten? Holy smokes! That's much crap. Screw you, lag. Apparently, this is my first time completing Reaper. Okay. Here. So they only did these oh, quests on Elite. Sweet. 8,778 Reaper XP. Here 
Oh, minus 25. Holy smokes. All right, I'm raisable. I'm here. Thank you. He's dead. Repretend, that's tough. It is. We've been doing repretend quests all night though. This is probably, I'm gonna say probably gonna be the, the hardest one we've done so far. We did, done four already. We did Grim and Barret, uh, Memoirs, Subversion, Multitude of Menace, and now this. Um, a lot of lag today, though. It's really laggy. We'll probably do... Um, I don't know how many we're going to do. No matter what, I'm going to be uploading all this to YouTube, by the way. So if any of you missed this and you're like, Man, Shrimp Tom, I didn't get to see all of your Reaper 10 run. I want to watch the whole thing in one consolidated chunk don't worry, I got your back. All of this is going to be going on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, which you can find the link for below. Did you know I upload YouTube videos every single week? That's right, usually on Wednesday. Doesn't have to be Wednesday. Has been Wednesday for a little while, though. So. Triple carnage spawn. That's always fun. Oh yeah, exactly. So you'll be able to catch all of this. I don't. I'm not. I'm not posting usually full streams anymore on YouTube. I'm posting um, like actually edited YouTube videos and stuff. So like inf informative pieces, build updates, that sort of thing on whatever it is I'm playing. But uh, because this is a very specific chunk that I wanted to up that I want to upload and share, because I know a lot of people don't have Reaper content, and there's also not a lot of Reaper content with like good commentary. I wanted to hopefully apply some good commentary. So I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as we play. We wait for them. You always got to wait. I'm not as I'm not as fearless as Zan. I'm not going to jump into this pile. It's scary for me. I'll go in after everybody gets freezed. Frozen. Freezed. Reason. I'm standing on this side because that door is about to open, if not already open. The Black Abishai are coming out. Got one knocked down. Use the snow slide. Oh no, what got me? That's hard wilting. Oof. This is a character that needs more, more hit points. Just woke up. My god. I'm okay. It's when the stuff it's either like an errant melee, like a single arrow gets me, or the stuff that you can't resist, like forward wilting gets you. Oh man, did I make my save versus forward wilting at least? Because if I failed my save, that's on me then. Yeah, I, I made the save, I just still died. <laughs> so that's only half damage, don't worry about it, it's only half damage. Was uh, was 1600. So it's fine. I just don't have enough health, honestly. My con's kind of low. I just don't know how I can fit in more health again and also more damage all at the same time. I'll walk over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Myself back up.
Thing's displaced. Let me true seeing. Get the hell out of here. Displaced. Like, oh yeah, really displaced? This month, this Reaper's casting displacement on itself. I mean, they do. They do cast displacement on themselves. Goodbye. Alright. Now we get some mana back. That's what I need, man. Mana. Hmm. Netflix. Stop coming to Netflix. Something. I don't know. My phone just decided to give me a notification to tell me that there's some show coming to Netflix. That's nice of it. Oh, no. Group buffs. Must get group buffs. Yeah, distracted by Netflix and then wanting to go do the quest. Now the real question we need to ask ourselves is, is it worth it to do Reaper 10? And the answer is basically not really. You get more XP by just running it on Reaper 5 with a good group. But it's really fun. And that's what gets me. That's, that's what gets my gears going. I like playing Reaper 10 and Reaper mode because it's fun. I don't care about getting this number bigger me it's about beating these quests i like having characters that work having good strategies that's what i want that's what i want out of this game go up here and kill this guy yeah okay i didn't get any of them i didn't even freeze any of those guys this typhling is a tough crowd man Tiflings are a tough crowd. They don't want to die. Mm. I'm going to put one point in a beast up here. Instead of animal brutality. Plus one hit damage. Oh. So hard to decide where I want to put the points. The, the thing about the characters I'm satisfied with pretty much is the damage. The thing I need to figure out how to get is higher DCs for my stuff like Jaws of Winter. Um, my freezes just don't have quite high enough DCs and neither do my knockdowns. Especially not on Reaper 10. And I gotta figure out how to get that higher. But it's... I don't know if I... Did I take Tactician? That'd be an extra two. I did not. I took Pierce Silver, which I don't need anymore. So I could actually swap that for Tactician and get two. I could probably get more legendary tactics instead of more damage. I could get four more DCs in a very easy fashion. Holy smokes! Yeah, apparently I need true seeing, which I cast, so it's fine. Slipped and fell. E. Oh, I have aggro on this guy. Oh, when he made a save, I gotta go. See you later. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Hathra wants me. See ya, I gotta go. I can kite Hathra forever, so it's not a big deal. I have snow slide. I can kite Cathra forever. Sure, something not worth 
Jesus Christ, there we go. We're working on it, though. We're working on it. Oh, she has a bow. Maybe I can't kite her forever. We'll see. I'll grab her a second. Seems fine. Everything seems fine. I'm just gonna chill. You know, I'm just gonna hang out. I need to. Oh, hold on. oh, this fall damage. I saw the damage come up. I'm like, oh my god, am I dying? Ethereum's coming to get me. That's why snow slide is great. I can do whatever I want. I missed it. So what? What was it? What was there? Was this about what else? What are you talking about? I never get to watch the weekly Wednesday because I'm always busy. Oh my god, the dodge. Shoot. Changes to PDK and one half looks. Oh, and half elf. Oh, the PD purple dragon knights and half elves are getting updated graphics? That would be pretty slick. What damage do you need to beat her? I don't know. What? That's so cool. I didn't know that. Oh, shit. It was there pictures? I see she was like... She's fine. This one's gonna take a little while because she has a lot of health and a lot of DR. We were trying to pop out those angel wings, man, and she saw that and she was like, none of that. Of answering questions. Oh man, that's awesome. Was there anything good or juicy? I'll have to go back and rewatch it. I'm assuming it's it's, it's going to be on the DDO YouTube channel. I feel like I should probably watch it every week, but I had like this startling realization. So I was doing. Um, I woke up one morning when I was off last week, and YouTube had a notification for me, and it was like, "Oh, can you monitor how much time you spent on YouTube." And I was like, "Oh, do I need to do that?" I'm pretty good. I don't spend too much time doing anything. But I was like, you know what? Sure. How much time am I spending on YouTube? So I checked. Turns out I was spending, on average, um, five hours a day on YouTube. And I'm like, wow. And I was like, how much time is that watching videos? And it's like, no, no, that's time watched. And I was like, wow. I waste a lot of time watching YouTube. I have a really bad habit of, instead of going to sleep, I watch YouTube. And so I had a bad habit of watching YouTube videos before I went to sleep. Most recently I've been watching like a lot of AGDQ. And, you know. They're long videos. 
And uh, so instead of getting like six hours of sleep or eight hours of sleep or whatever, however many hours that originally planned, I get like half or less of that. That's really unhealthy. It's not a good thing. Oh yeah, I have good and evil damage, so I don't I don't think I can pierce her damage reduction. I just think she has flat DR or something. I have no idea how this character works, Hathra. Ooh. I'm getting sleepy though. Not that much. I was up very early this morning. And then I streamed for like I've been streaming since 4 o'clock, so it's been like 6 hours. But, um... Yeah, if you notice the way I'm standing, I'm standing at a bit of a range. A lot of these bosses have like... 360 AoE. And you can avoid the 360 AoE by just trying to stand outside their range. So, same thing with like Carver. He has like 360 degree AoE. You can stand inside the range. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of creatures you can ignore their 360 AoE by just standing outside the range. And that's something you really want to try to do when you can. And now we can see Hathra and her movements. I'm not going to die on one hit. Unless I get meleeed. The lightning's not going to kill me. Hmm. Hmm. Are you, Abishai? Whoa! Or it's... Mark a loss, it's force damage. Wow. Gotta be really careful. Okay, the sticks in is not aggroed on me. Means freeze? And dead. And by dead, I mean me. I almost died. Holy shit. This guy's frozen and dead, though. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I was almost in front of Hathra. I was not paying attention to where I was standing. That was scary. <laughs> the freedom. Yeah, well, it was just apparently it was telling me over the past like, like two months, I've spent an average of five hours a day on YouTube. That's really, really insanely unhealthy, given how much time I spend doing other things. I was actually kind of shocked and baffled. So I've made myself rules, so now I can only spend one hour of YouTube a day, um, which is a better habit. And I've noticed that my productivity is in a lot better, as you might be aware if you watch my stream. Ooh, 11,004. 13,884. Nice. Yeah. Oh, shit, I got Dodd Ringer. Garbage shuriken, give me that. Shuriken. 